Hey guys. So we bought this uh, wagon today on Facebook Marketplace so that we can pull our nephew down the aisle um, because he's only gonna be like six months old and he's obviously not gonna be able to walk down the aisle. So we got it and it's one of those wood bottom like radio flyer ones with um, the red wood slats on it. That's the bottom one. And we are spray painting the top of them, the red part, and all of the silver pieces where the wood goes into. We have to get another can of spray paint though because I didn't buy enough. Hopefully it'll look good when it's all said and done. And then we're gonna probably stain this to be to match the same gray wood that the um, signs are that we have like these signs because we have this gray stain that we stained this for so I'm probably gonna stain the wood on this hopefully it works because it's not like this is real wood but this is obviously like a like plywood or something like that hopefully it works Are they dry? Yeah. I mean, they're a little tacky. But see what happened here with the paint? I'm gonna try and make sure that you don't over spray these. You flip the other one to bother you with your taping? <laughs>
dragons, and anything with dinosaurs.
don't think it turned out bad. Might need another coat in some areas when it dries. Because it's not really taking the stain. Jamin spray painted the with the new spray paint that we got today since we ran out yesterday. They look pretty good. I think that'll look really cute together. We had to take the <laughs> stuff off. We will see when it all gets put back together. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks as good as I'm thinking that it'll look. Fingers crossed because I think it'll look cute. And then I've got the vinyl for the sides. We're gonna put like Calixtro wedding and the date or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll have to play with the design in the Cricut studio. We also have these wine barrels. I don't think I've put them in a vlog yet. We have these wine barrels that we bought because I want wine barrels on either side of the aisle. Um, as we're walking down the aisle, there'll be one on one side and one on the other side. So there's this place near us um, that sells wine barrels. And so we bought two of them and we put the design from my Cricut. We printed it. There's one of them. And then the other ones back here, they're really heavy wine barrels to move. But I think these will look really cute. And then my florist, I sent her some, disregard all of the Amazon stuff. We don't like to shop or anything. But my florist is going to put like really pretty flower arrangements on top of these for each aisle. And then we might have like, I'll have to play with the design, but we might have some like candles or some lanterns or something right in front of it with a sign. We'll have one sign on one side that says um, this one, the choose a seat, not a side. We're all family once the knot is tied. That will be on probably the right side since the arrow is pointing to the left. But this is how this one looks with the stain. I think it turned out really cute. So hopefully the wagon matches the same kind of stain that would be that would be ideal but we will see this is the wagon it's turned out really cute so far but i need to fix some of the sides i don't know if you can tell in the video but this side didn't turn out very well and this top part must have had like polish on it because it like didn't stain at all I think a couple parts of this didn't have a lot of, or had more polish on it than others because it didn't take the stain very well. Sanding it a little bit will help it hold the stain so it looks more gray and not kind of half done. <laughs> gonna look super cute with the little white rails and the bottom is gray 
and Kellen will be in it, being pulled down the aisle. I'm excited to see what it looks like. On the areas that didn't hold stain very well before, I'm just going to leave the stain on it for longer. Did you light it on fire? Mm -hmm. Hey, come out. You're not watching it? longer, I think. Ah! And then I think we're going to use my Cricut to cut some vinyl and put some vinyl on the sides, like on the outside, that says something like Calixtra Wedding 2019 or I think I for sure I'm going to do on the back on the back because he'll be pulled down the aisle um, like right before I walk down the aisle and so I think I'm going to put here she comes on the back and probably I have this copper vinyl that I used for the girls the bridesmaids hangers because I made their hangers not the hangers but I made the vinyl that goes on the hangers in copper vinyl. So I'm going to probably use the same vinyl so that it all matches. But I'm probably gonna put here she comes on the back and then something on both of the sides like Calixtra Wedding or something. We'll see. I'll have to play with it. Still have a couple more signs that we need to do. I can't figure out what I want to make one of the signs like one of the really big signs is the same size as this one. I can't figure out what I want it to say. I don't know if I want it to just say welcome, like Calixtra Wedding, or if I want it to say something else. Jamin was saying that he was, th he was thinking that he likes the look of the signs that say, what does it say, like unplugged ceremony, you know, please keep your phones in your pocket or whatever that saying is. Um, that way nobody pulls their phones out during the ceremony so that our photographer can obviously get good photos and videos without a bunch of people's cameras being pulled out, which I do like the look of that, so maybe we'll do that. But I also think we need a welcome sign. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's so many options. I think this is so cute.
This side looks so cute though. Like this is how it's gonna look when it's pulled down the aisle with the gray bottom. I guess it's kind of hard to see in this one. Open the garage so we can get better lighting. But look how cute it is. And this gray stain looks pretty good on this side. not bad it took a lot better once I sanded it and I just kind of left left the stain and stuff on there but I think it's gonna look so cute super cute so excited now we just have to do the other signs let this dry and then put the other brackets on for the side since we don't have the brackets on this one and then yeah, I'll probably try working on some signs today. I need to figure out what I'm gonna put on there. I don't know what I wanna put. I'll have to look on Pinterest, do some research, and then we'll find some signs. So that way we can get all the signage done, hopefully. We also have, this is the sign for one of the sides of the aisle. I think I've shown that before. And then we have this that Jamie and sister got me for Christmas. It says, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. It's so cute, it's on like this little window thing. And then I got one of these chalkboards to use um, either at the ceremony or at the bridal shower, the rehearsal dinner, something like that. So, we shall see. So yeah. 